Gastrointestinal complications in critical care patients and effects of mechanical ventilation on the gastrointestinal tract. Published in the Journal of Mechanical Ventilation, March 2021. Mechanical ventilation can contribute to a range of GI complications, exacerbating morbidity and mortality in critically ill patients. Early diagnosis, prevention, and management are key to improving outcomes. Prevalence of GI complications 50 to 80 percent of critically ill ICU patients, especially those on mechanical ventilation, experience GI complications like bleeding, infection, and motility disorders. These complications are often underdiagnosed but can involve multiple organs, esophagus, stomach, intestines, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Impact of mechanical ventilation on the GI system. Positive end expiratory pressure, PEEP, reduces splanchnic, GI, blood flow, impacting the liver, spleen, and pancreas. High PEEP levels decrease cardiac output, leading to organ ischemia. Prone positioning. Increases intraabdominal pressure but shows no major negative impact on GI function or hepatic perfusion. Permissive hypercapnia, this strategy can increase splanchnic blood flow but lacks clear evidence on significant effects on GI function. Common GI disorders in ICU patients GERT, frequent due to decreased lower esophageal sphincter pressure, aggravated by medication and mechanical ventilation. Gastroparesis, affects up to 40-45% to of ICU patients, causing delayed gastric emptying. Ileus, hypomotility of the intestines, commonly linked with surgery, sepsis, opioids, and critical illness. Ogilvy's syndrome, acute colonic pseudo-obstruction, characterized by colonic dilation without mechanical obstruction. Diarrhea, common, especially due to enteral feeding, antibiotics, and hypoalbuminemia. GI bleeding. Stress-related mucosal damage leading to bleeding in ICU patients, typically managed with prophylactic PPIs or H2 blockers. Gallbladder, acute calculus cholecystitis. Pathophysiology. GI complications are often driven by reduced blood flow, mucosal ischemia, reperfusion injury, or direct effects of mechanical ventilation, which disrupt the GI system's normal function. Management strategies. Early enteral feeding to maintain GI motility. Pharmacologic interventions, prokinetic agents like metoclopramide, stress ulcer prophylaxis with PPIs or H2 blockers, and antibiotics for infections. Volume management, fluid resuscitation to prevent splanchnic hypoperfusion. Preventive approaches, limiting PEEP, monitoring intra-abdominal pressure, and balancing electrolyte levels to minimize complications.